What's up everyone, I'm Brad. In this video, I'm going to be overlaying different asset classes in TradingView so that we can take a look at the price and volatility difference between those assets. So jumping right in, uh, we're in TradingView. The way I did this was just use this little compare uh, button up here, super easy. You just click on it and uh, you already have your, um, whatever your base asset class is is already pulled up in this example I have Bitcoin and then you can add uh, other assets to overlay it by just typing them in here so like a major index or if you want to type in you know Apple or Tesla or gold for example that's what I'm going to be going over in this video so that's what I did so I have Bitcoin pulled up um, and you can see how volatile uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is you have your base 0% right here down the middle and from the middle of 2018 to the end of 2018 Bitcoin lost 62% of its value that is just an astronomical swing right but if you were an investor around this time you gained more than 300% over the next six months so Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is just insanely volatile for an asset class, right? So I, had, I compared to the S&P 500, turn that on, and you can see right off the bat, uh, even stocks, um, you know, which is a very risky asset class, is not nearly as volatile as Bitcoin, right? You see these huge swings up and down in Bitcoin. And then you see the S&P 500 just kind of sticking around the middle area, right? And then this is when the uh, global pandemic happened and both asset classes plummet, but cryptocurrency uh, dropped significantly more than the stock market. It also came back uh, higher than the stock market, but has since corrected. It's interesting to note that since um, you know, the middle of 2018, both of these asset classes, um, you know, even with uh, the incredible difference in volatility, they both ended up around the same area on this chart. Now, that's, of course, skewed by uh, where I decided to start this chart, middle of 2018. You know, if we scrolled back, um, that would include the huge rally in cryptocurrency um, towards the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. But um, I didn't include that in this graph because the huge swings of cryptocurrency just skew the graph so, um, so bad trying to compare it to other asset classes. It's just not easy to see. It's not easy on your eyes. So I just kept it to the last two and a half years. So we have the S&P 500 in orange. We have Bitcoin representing cryptocurrency in general in the red and green candlesticks. Far more volatility than the stock market. And let's add gold and see what happens. So the yellow line is gold, which historically has been thought of as a more passive investment, a more uh, you know, less risky investment. It's kind of just secure, and that's where you want to put your cash if you're trying to hide from risk and volatility. Uh, and for the most part, that has been true of gold over the last two and a half years. Um, and fortunately for gold investors, you've also made pretty good money on your investment over the last two and your two and a half years as well. So gold has played its role. Uh, over the last two and a half years as being kind of a hedge against stocks uh, in the sense that when stocks go up, gold goes down. When stocks go down, gold goes up, you know, kind of vice versa. A little, it, that kind of worked out here in 2018, 2019 a little bit. You can see a little bit of fluctuations there. But um, in general, since 2019, both stocks and gold have gradually been going up. Now, when we had our crash in February and March, notice that cryptocurrency just took a huge dump. Stocks um, sold off really hard, 
and gold had a little sell-off, but it was not nearly as bad as those two other asset classes. Right, so that implies um, the lower risk, lower volatility of gold. So gold investors, you know, really made out in over the last uh, eight months or so because they didn't really get this dip like all other most other asset classes did. This is where you start to see the gains in gold over stocks and cryptocurrency and that's why uh, over the last two and a half years you've had gold earning investors 43 percent on the money compared to uh, bitcoin making 25 percent and uh, the s p 500 making 22 percent so i thought that was really interesting all right now we're going to start to skew this graph a little bit more uh, we're going to we're going to add in single stocks right so if you only invested your money in Apple over the last two and a half years, right? We had the S&P 500 making 22%, Bitcoin making 25%, gold making 43%. Now what happens when we overlay Apple? Well, then it just starts to get silly, huh? So you can see Apple was kind of swinging with the general stock market here in 2018, 2019, and then about two-thirds of the way through 2019, we start to see Apple just take off while the rest of the stock market uh, did not do nearly as well, right? So Apple just takes off and leaves everyone behind. And it, it sure, you know, it, of course it sold off in February and March with the pandemic, just like everything else did, but then it came soaring back as well. And it's just had this insane run since then to give investors over the last two and a half years, 140% return on their investment. That's crazy. Um, good for them. Now, gotta save the best for last, right? What about Tesla? <laughs> So that crazy return on Apple of 140% pales in comparison to Tesla investors who've made 611% on their money over the last two and a half years. The vast majority of that coming in the last oh year or so, one year or so, just crazy. I mean, look, you can't even, you can barely even see Bitcoin, the S&P 500, and gold on this on this chart, it's pretty crazy, huh? So that's all I have. This is this was uh, overlays again in Trading View. All you have to do is click Compare to add multiple assets onto one chart. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below for me. Thanks.